In government, last week, members of the Middle School Building Committee, along with representatives of Compass Project Management and AI3, took a tour of the newly constructed John F. Kennedy Middle School in Natick. Led by middle school principal Andrew Zatoli, the tour highlighted what a new middle school could look like for Norwood. The full tour will be airing on the NCM Government Channel. The Middle School Building Committee will host its first community forum next Thursday, January 14th at 7 p.m. The forum will be carried live on NCM, but you can also register for the forum at www.newcmsproject.org. Tuesday night, the Zoning Board of Appeals met and began their meeting with two hearings regarding Maxwell Avenue, lots number 9 and number 10. Both lots were making modifications to their existing plans and were both passed with little discussion. Following those cases, the board continued their case from December 15th regarding 973 University Ave. After discussion, ZBA member Scott Murphy made a lengthy motion that was later reiterated by Chairman Thomas Brady. Uh, it's a two-year permit. Uh, is number is the first uh, first uh, section of it. The, the the second is after one year, we the we the zoning board is looking for a status review which will consist of a closure plan in regards to erosion control, showing slopes and grades, planting and screening of trees and bushes, not when the final thing uh, plot is developed, but it in the uh, once it's done being excavated, which I believe in, uh, you know, might, it's probably gonna take more than two years, which will, uh, according to the last meeting and according to testimony in the last meeting. So obviously, there's no question you're going to have to come in in a year and explain what you're doing uh, and, and, and especially in two years too if you come in looking for an extension or whatever the case may be but um the third uh notification in the in the plan is to adhere to mark ryan's memo which mr bailey i assume you still have a copy of Yes, I do. Okay. So Mr. Ryan's memo, um, specifically numbers one, two, three, five, and seven. Mr. Murphy said what they were. I do not have that in front of me, but uh, those specifically be adhered to, which I, as, as was pointed out, I think most of them already have been, but uh, I don't think so, the last two, I don't think you have any you know, choice to do that with the consent decree itself. Uh, the next one, number four, return the property to, to the condition as it was prior to. Yeah, the, abutters, the abutters property. The abutters property, I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, this must be done within 180 days, if possible. And uh, the applicant must be allowed by the neighbor, MS Walker, to access the property um, in order to get this done. So that I, I would, I would. Strong, I can't tell you what to do there, but I would strongly can, uh, suggest doing that with some type of proof or, uh, you know, uh, consent. Obviously, we're, we're looking for consent, but we want to, uh, you know, prove that it was done. And that's the 180 days is the key time frame. Um, lastly, uh, obey the order of the Conservation Commission and the consent degree uh, from the Attorney General's office, which was stalled out by Mr. Uh, Mr. Murphy. Uh, also, no. we uh, this has to be a twenty foot setback um, yes. around the property for the, for the excavation. The motion then passed with a vote of four to one, with Philip Riley being the only vote against. The next zoning board meeting is scheduled for January nineteenth. Also Tuesday night, the board of selectmen held their first meeting of twenty twenty one. Both Chief Maurice and Chief Brooks joined the hybrid meeting to give their monthly departmental updates. The most important topic of the night was town meeting. Okay, thank you. Uh, so we've been pushing and working towards how to hold this remote town meeting. Uh, Mr. Mazzucco, a number of staff people, uh, Attorney DeLuca, uh, and others have helped uh, identify a platform and to try it out and to get some training and to be scheduling to move forward. There are a few things that aren't yet decided. We're developing those as we go along, but they will be before town meeting, and they're not in our opinion, significant enough that they'll cause any problems that we have to wait to 100% resolve them before we call a town meeting. We had indicated trying to call a town meeting in January. We didn't quite make that. It looks like uh, up to the board's decision and vote, but 
Looks like we can have a town meeting as early as February 4th. We'll be ready. That's a Thursday. Um, we are planning on, again, with the approval of the board, the warrant being the same as we had planned in November, less two items, which uh, we took care of it in November on the other warrant that evening. And that has to do with the recreation department's elevator and the fire department's mechanics equipment. The Board of Selectmen will be meeting again next week on January 12th. The Conservation Commission met on Wednesday night. Moderna was there to propose an expansion of an existing building along with associated grading, landscaping and utilities outside of protected wetland areas and their buffer zones. The reason for the expansion is to help Moderna increase their COVID-19 vaccine production. As, as Holly pointed out, this, this um, expansion that we're talking about is to a specific part of our process. And, and uh, this will enable us to produce uh, additional vaccine than we've already committed to the United States government. Um, we're, we're looking to add on uh, uh, to the northeast corner of the current uh, building that we have in, uh, in Norwood. Um, it's the one Moderna Wave location. Essentially, there's two things. You, is, am I correct in assuming that if I was to make a motion for a negative determination, that would be one thing, and then we would need to do a ratify of the emergency as a second request? Yep. I'm prepared to make a motion unless other commission members have questions. Nope. Then I'd make okay. a motion to for a negative determination. I'll second that. Okay. It looks like all those in favor has passed. So. Um, we can uh, move forward from here. Holly, was there anything else to um, summarize? The emergency uh, ratification. Oh, do we have yeah. to vote on that as well? Yeah, that's later on okay. in the agenda, but we can take it out of order right now to to uh, move to ratify that emergency certification. Sure. I'd, I'd make the motion to uh, ratify the emergency certification. A second. A second. Okay, so now both of those have been satisfied. Thank you, uh, Mr. Bamber, for uh, doing the ratification now. Um, and are we all set, Holly? Is there anything more? I think that's it. Thank you all. Okay, thank you. Well, Thanks very much. Chris Hirsch from the Department of Ecological Restoration was also there to update the Committee on the Removal of Mill Pond Dam and Stream Relocation and Restoration to Restore Ecological Function and Habitat Connectivity to Trap Hole Brook. The Conservation Commission's next meeting will be on January 20th. For complete government coverage, tune into the NCM Government Channel or watch it on demand at nordcommunitymedia.org.